signature injuries of this war are really um, traumatic brain injuries and limb loss. Bad day, uh, 14 September 05, there was uh, 12 suicide car bombs. I remember things by the millisecond. Um, so I'm flying through the air and I hit the ground and you do what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do a self check and you start from the top and you go down and I'm patting down and I look down and then my leg's gone. And about six inches below the knee, I can see that the only thing that I'm dragging it with is the inside inseam of my pants. It was uh, December 4th, 2006, and we were on a convoy with Iraqi police. A roadside bomb, uh, it was buried underneath the cement, the median, and it hit my truck. I was thrown back into the turret, and the back of my head hit the metal. The bottom of my head was exposed, so at the time they thought it was just a severe concussion, but it turned into a lot more nerve damage. I was stationed in the Air Force active duty. I was running from the beach into the ocean, just jumping up in the air, doing front flips, and uh, I landed on my head once, and the water wasn't particularly deep, not enough to break the impact. Uh, my head hit the sand, and it took my fourth cervical vertebrae and pulled it at an angle almost next to my fifth. So what it did was took my spinal cord and bent it almost at a 90 degree angle. I couldn't move a thing. Um, uh, like like the, the waves were washing over me and I just, I remember my arms like just flopping across my chest. I had no control. And it, it I can't, it, it was just, it was a gross feeling almost. And uh, yeah, I, I, I remember it. You know, I can pick up a glass, I can hold a glass, I can pick up a fork, I can hold a fork. It gives me the ability to do things that I used to do. And what that does, of course, is then free him from so much of attendant care. It also empowers him in amazing ways because the independence that a person uh, gains gives them the self-confidence. You know, nobody likes to depend on, on somebody for everything, so you know, anything that you can get back that you're able to do yourself, you know, you're, you're good with that. If, um, if there's a wind or a cold front or some kind of weather, then I'll probably get a headache and I have to be on the couch or watch TV or do nothing. Um, but then some days I feel good and I can go out and I have three dogs and I walk them and I can do yard work. I remember rolling into the uh, rehab room and the guy with the same exact injury as me comes walking out with a running leg. And that was it. That was all it took for me. And I, and I knew at that point in time that I was gonna be fine. I was a backpacker prior to being injured, so that was a big goal of mine was to go backpacking. Um, my dad and I have been backpacking up in New York fly fishing. I have a rock climbing leg because I like to rock climb. I have a golfing leg because I like to golf. I have a bicycling leg because I like to bicycle. I'm not housebound by any means. I'm not where I want to be though. I, don't, I want to be competing in a triathlon. And so what we want to be able to do is re again restore that sensation so he feels the ground like you or I would when we're walking with our feet and allows potentially a, a um, a greater terrain, a different, a greater variety of space that these devices will work over. The Defense Department, their goal is to return soldiers to active duty. So they don't have to think, I now want to move my elbow, I now want to move my wrist. They just think, I want to move my hand to pick up that mug, for example. And we record the signals and basically deduce what it is that they're trying to do. All that stuff it gives you hope that you know there's there's going to be some recovery uh, as time goes on. Um, you know, and it's that kind of hope that, that keeps people going. They've made so many bounds so far, 
and with as far as they're going, who knows what the I mean, really who knows what the limit is on what they can create. The Joe Grosses and, and Chris Wind, they are the test pilots. They give us the feedback so that we can develop devices that they want to achieve their own independence.